All right, in this first video, let's build an initial API and serve some static JSON content that might be sitting as a file out there on disk. So I'm going to start here on my machine and we are going to, we're going to build with the .NET command line. So let's start building our first web application and I will call this my first API. So .NET new web says we're building a web application and the dash O my first API up here says output to the folder called my first API. There it is. It's built. I'll open that in Visual Studio Code. So you can do all of these samples on any machine, whether it's running Windows, Mac or Linux. Here's that program file containing just those lines of code that we saw previously. Okay, there's not a lot here. It's not very interesting. So let's go and introduce, uh, let's introduce a contacts.json file that contains information about a few contacts that we want to share and make that available using this simple API. So I'm going to go into Explorer and I'm going to add a folder here called www.root. There it is. This is where we serve static files from that we want the browser to be able to retrieve and interact with, and we don't want the web server to interpret in any way. So I'll add a file here called contacts.json, and let's just put some contacts in here in JSON format. So I'll put a first contact here, name Fritz, and city, Philadelphia. I'll add another contact. Uh, this time um, I'll have name and this will be Crystal and city will be Dallas. Okay, so I have a little contacts file here, two records that we want to be able to serve and folks to be able to interact with. So how do we get to that file? If we run the application the way that it's written right now. So I can open up my terminal here in Visual Studio Code and I can just say .NET run and it will build and make that web server available to us. I'll navigate to the address that it created here and I get the hello world. Now if I want to try to navigate to that contacts JSON and I click through nothing pops up here it isn't serving any content for that how do we make that appear well the answer is the Kestrel web server the web server that ASP.NET Core uses doesn't know that it should be serving static files yet so we have to give it an instruction to tell it to let me go back over to the code and show you what I mean So here, I'm going to give it that additional instruction that it should be serving static files. So I will go right in here and say app dot use static files. That's how easy it is. And I'll go back and restart my web server. It's going to rebuild. There it is. Now it's hosting on that same uh, same port that I can navigate to and I'll refresh and now I get my contacts JSON. There's Fritz and there's Crystal. Fantastic. So we're serving that JSON file directly from the www root folder and it's presented when I navigate to that file name on my web server. And you can introduce other folder structure there if you want to nest this somewhere underneath of it. But that's how you get a static file hosted and presented using ASP.NET Core and minimal APIs. I hope you tune in for more videos in this series. We're going to take this little API and start extending it and introducing some new features in the next videos coming up.